Hi everyone, Martina is here from the Travian Legends team. Welcome to Ask Travian, where we answer the most asked questions from the community. First of all, let me start by saying a huge thank you to everyone who commented on our previous videos. You gave us so many cool ideas for the next videos and we can't wait to get down to work. And congratulations to the winner, Nazar Kova. My Russian colleague tried to teach me how to pronounce it, but I think I'm a lost cause. He suggested the notars and how they interact with the Travian word as a topic for this episode. As many of you know, we cannot say much about these fascinating creatures. We gave you already some info in a couple of Ask Travian episodes that you will find below in the description. What we can do, instead, is telling you a bit more about their gameplay. I know you're a bit disappointed, but don't blame us. They are just very secretive and we certainly don't want to make them angry. Who knows what they are capable of? All right, now, before we start, don't forget to activate the subtitles in the options, subscribe to the channel and then click on the notification bell so that you will never miss a video again. Now let's talk about the mysterious Natars. Do you have any curious fact about how they interact with the game? Of course we do. Did you know that the Natars are technically the first player on every new game world? They are the proud owners of the prestigious ID number one. No one can steal that from them, even if you are very fast in the registration process. Oh, and did you know why you cannot attack the Natars capital? Zero, zero. All right, we tricked you here. That's pretty much a secret. But we can tell you that it's basically their sanctuary. No one can touch it. Another curious fact is that Natars are very interested in your abandoned capitals. Once an account is deleted, there is a chance that the former player's capital will turn into a Natarian village. If you don't like the idea of being used by the Natars, you can always become a farm or keep playing. And talking about that, the game considers turning into Natars as chiefing. That's why when it happens, buildings drop one level. Keep in mind that Natars are considered a bigger account. Of course, Natars will soon start working on those buildings again. They really don't like to idle. Instead, when you are the one chiefing a Natar independent village, buildings do not drop levels. The moral of the story is, sometimes it's better to chief a Natar village with 250 population than a player village with plus 300. There is another interesting point regarding this topic. If a player increased loyalty before deletion, the loyalty stays as it is. If you have ever wondered why some Natara village have more than 100 loyalty, now you know. This is perfectly normal, it's not a bug. One more aspect that could be tricky to understand at first is the fact that independent Natar villages are counted in battle as having 500 population, not the full population of the Natar whole account. As a consequence, those villages do have a moral bonus. What about Natar's units? Natar's troops are exceptionally strong and we know you are all jealous of their war elephants. Well, at least I am. I think it's pretty cool to have those powerful elephants instead of simple rams. Do you also have a unit you wish you could steal from the Natars or it's just me? One particular Natar unit has been featured in the intro of our 2019 annual special Puff to Pandora. I will give you one second to guess. All right, I'm talking about the Bird of Prey, the protagonist of the story of Shu. If you haven't read it already, you should go back and have a look. We will leave the link below. Can I steal an artifact from the Natars? Yes, you can. You have to attack the Natar village that holds the artifact with your hero in the attacking army. And of course, you have to win the attack. Don't forget that you must also destroy the treasury in that village and have your treasury at the right level required by the magnitude of the artifact. The artifacts in Natar villages are always in treasury level 20, excluding construction plans which are stored in a treasury level 10. 
Normally, artifacts are heavily defended, so better be prepared for a proper fight. Last but not least, have you noticed that the amount of defenders in an artifact or construction plan's Natar village vary from game world to game world? This is because it's set up based on top 10 offense army of that specific game world. Plus, as we mentioned already, they are definitely not lazy bunch, so they keep building new defense units. And that's a wrap! If you have more questions about this topic, make sure you leave a comment below. We will do our best to give you an answer without revealing any forbidden secret that could anger the Natars. Since you liked our previous contest, we have a new one for you. Using the Kiriloid tools, link in the description below, post a link to one of your battle reports where you fought against the Natars. We will select a particularly interesting one and send you a fancy Travian Legends mousepad. Thank you for watching and make sure you stay tuned on our Facebook page, Discord, blog and forums for all your Travian news. As always, happy raiding everyone!